Hello everyone and welcome to a quick video tutorial in Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis 2024. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that has been asked multiple times of me, which is basically how to add your own bar diameters and your own bar strength. Now, if you are new to this channel, all those words might be overwhelming for you. So before you start watching this video, I wanted to take a look on the Autodesk Robot playlist I will be linking in the top right, as well as the tutorial on the design module of reinforced concrete bars, which I will also be linking on the top right. So please look at those before you start with this video. I'm going to be trying to answer the following question. If you basically select a beam and go to the design module and start the design module with all the shenanigans of the design module. Now, remember, there is a detailed video about the meanings of all those things. If, if you start the design module, then if you go to calculation options, in the reinforcement, you can see those grades with their names and so on, and you can see the reinforcement diameter. You can see that uh, there are some predetermined uh, grades for you and predetermined diameters for you. And the question that I'm trying to answer in this video is how to add my own grade and my own diameter. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. All right, now back in my day, it was a very simple task as if to double click here and just add numbers and hit the enter key. That's all there is, to be honest. Now it seems that my days in Robot 2010 are over and now we are in 2024, so things got a little bit more interesting and strange. If you Google adding your own reinforcement bars, you will reach the Autodesk webpage telling you exactly how to do this and uh, step by step, which is kind of cool. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't work with me and uh, I will tell you why. The tutorial basically tells you that you should go to, and I don't know if the tutorial, if the tutorial covers different grades, but the tutorial tells you that you should go to your preferences, job preferences, and in the, in the databases, expand it, go to reinforcing bars, click the database, and just click here on edit the selected database. Now you can hear the mouse clicking, nothing is happening here, so it seems that this is a dead end for me. However, I want to teach you a different method that makes you look like a boss. So how would I do that? Now, the tutorial seems not to be working. If it works for you, good for you. In my case, I'm gonna hack Autodesk Robot. You see, I have a very notorious relationship with Autodesk Robot because I'm programming my own software. I have to take this apart to understand how it has been done. So in order to hack the system, you would have to go to your folders and go to C, Program Data, Autodesk, structural, common data, and then the year of robot, maybe 2022, 2023, 2024, data reinforcement. I will give you the uh, path all the way until common data, because you might have different folders for different versions like 2024, data, and then reinforcement. This, those are the reinforcement databases in robot, and oh boy, we're gonna play with one of them. So I will click here, and remember, this is basically a very deep hack we are doing. You don't need to do this if robot complies and allows you to edit the database. In my case, it doesn't work. So I will copy this database, paste it, and rename it. Now, the first name bar must be included because Autodesk Robot needs the first three letters to distinguish each database from the other. I will call it CEE. Now I have bar CE as an XML file. I'll double click on it with the word editor or any editor. In my case, I have a programming editor, but actually a notepad would work. If you open this XML file, you will access the database. Now this gibberish might be a little bit overwhelming for you, but you can see some well-established numbers here. You can see grades, diameters, and properties. For example, I want to add a new bar. So I will copy this row, and I will hit the enter key and paste the row, okay? Now I pasted a new row here. As you can see, I copied the row and pasted it. Now it's very important that you make a copy out of whatever you want to do because you don't want to destroy your robot. I am not responsible if you mess up your robot. So this is a disclaimer from me, not liable for any damages. So I will basically just copy paste the row and now I'm gonna look like a boss and call this grade grade CE because why not? 
The diameter is 18.3, once again, because why not? And the real diameter is 18.3. The maximum length is 18. You can put it as 12. It's important to know what the maximum length is for cutoff and development length. The mass is incorrect. It's a big too huge because I copied it 157. I'm expecting the math to be in the the mass to be in the ballpark of 2.1. Those bar hooks are a characteristics of how to do with the bar hook. I think it's uh, times diameter or something. You should keep an eye on that. What is important here is two things, which is this. First of all, the bar size is 18.3, and it's not a plain bar, of course. And its strength is anything you want it to be. Now, because I feel like it, I want to add a strength that is very strange. This is 150 megapascal. Now, there is no steel that carries 150 megapascal, but I want to do this because why not? I want to look like a boss. I want to make my own rules. So I save the database and close the text editor. And now inside robot, look at this amazing trick I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my job preferences. And in the databases, I'm going to click on reinforcing bars and add the database. Lo and behold, CEE database is officially there. We hacked the system and I'll add the CEE database. I will also enable it and hit OK. Now, the cool thing is if I go to the uh, calculation options in the longitudinal bars, if you click here, you can see there is a grade CEE because I called it that way. And if you click on that, lo and behold, the crazy things I inputted are actually there. The characteristic strength is 150 which is an odd number, but I have added it. The name is 18.3, the diameter is 18.3, and the area is even calculated correctly. Because if you say 18.3 multiplied by 18.3 by 0.25 by pi, you reach 262.8, which is very close to this. So answer the question, can you add any crazy bar you want with any crazy characteristic strength? The answer is yes, and I have shown you in this video how to do so. So yeah, that's everything I wanted to talk about in this quick video, I hope you enjoyed. And before I finish, I want to give a strange great sized shout out to my dear channel members who is in the contributor level and the helper level whose names are going to be shown on the screen. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart as their support of the channel is priceless to me and enables me to provide you with videos hopefully on time and with a certain quality I try to achieve and for that I am forever thankful. In the end, I hope that you enjoyed the video and you found it beneficial. If you have enjoyed the video, then please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and so on. Especially subscribing, because it helps increase the reach of my channel. As per usual, this is the Civil Engineering Essentials channel, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.